Sulphur Springs Valley is a closed basin surrounded by mountains. An increasing number of cranes call it home for the winter. The greater sand hills come from the northern prairie pothole states, uh, Idaho, the Dakotas, uh, Nebraska, and all is where they breed. The lesser sand hills make an even longer migration. They come from the north slope of Alaska and Canada, and about 20,000 of them come across the Bering Strait from Siberia. Tom Wood works for the Southeastern Arizona Bird Observatory. This is a relatively new phenomenon here in southeastern Arizona. Fifty or a hundred years ago, there were very few sandhill cranes here, and a couple of things have happened. One has been the growth of agriculture, and agriculture is really a benefit to the cranes. In wintertime, water drains from the nearby mountains and forms these playas, or temporary lakes, which are perfect for wintering cranes. The cranes like these shallow bodies of water that can get out in the water and uh, be safe from bobcats and coyotes. If the cranes uh, leave this playa lake early in the morning, fly out to the cornfields and feed on the waste grain, the corn that was missed by the mechanical pickers, uh, and then come back here mid-morning and loaf the rest of the day. So the farmers don't mind the cranes, in fact they like the cranes because they're cleaning up the waste corn. After a tough morning of eating all the corn they can find, the cranes return to the playa to rest and digest. Sandhill cranes mate for life and stay together in family units. It's easy to pick out families of three or four birds, even in the air. For many birds, migration is instinctive, but sandhill cranes have to learn to relocate. The young birds are taught the finer points of migration by their parents. Among the lessons learned by these birds, this is a good place to spend the winter.